Hey guys, this is Cuber, and today I will be answering questions for my second Q&A. So, I do have a 3x3 average of 12 going on in the background. I got an average of 19.6, which isn't very good for me, but it was okay. So anyhow, let's get into the questions. So the first question, which FV Cuber asked, Who or what motivated you to make a YouTube channel? Back in December 2016, or January uh, 2017, I knew a little bit about cubing, but as I was looking up more algorithms and more things on Google and YouTube to figure stuff out, I also saw that there was more of a cubing community on YouTube than I previously expected, so I thought that it would be cool to share my cubing experiences on YouTube, such as tutorials and unboxings and reviews and things like that. Vanish Gaming commented, Do you have a V-Cube 8, and if you have one, can you shapeshift it and then solve it? So I do not have a V-Cube 8, the highest order puzzle, just n by n by n, that I have is the Chi Wuji 7x7. And I don't think I'll be getting a V-Cube anytime soon, just because those puzzles are a little bit outdated, even if the shapeshifting capabilities are pretty cool. J.E. Cuber commented, what is your favorite event, both WCA and non-WCA? For WCA, it is probably 3x3, although I am getting more into square 1. And for non-WCA, it's probably either 2x2x3, or the square zero mod that I made a while back. And how long do you usually cube every day hour-wise? I don't cube all that often. I cube some, but I also focus more on editing and YouTube videos, and not as much just improving my WCA times as much as just solving random things and playing around with my cubes. Okay, cubing commented, what's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber, um, which is just a cubing YouTuber, is probably either JR Cuber or Cuberithms. Gingerbread Cubing commented, who do you think will win the 2019 championships? I honestly have no idea. I don't even know who will win the 2018 championships. I'm not that up to speed on in terms of uh, what cubers are the best at which events. The main cubers that I know are just the ones on YouTube. Clashing Champs commented, what are your goals for YouTube? My goal is to get 1,000 subscribers by June or July 2018. Lexi Vine commented, if you could choose to hold a world record for only one WCA event, what would it be? So this is a kind of interesting question. I think I would say 3x3, three three, but honestly, that world record would probably get broken pretty fast, so I might also say square one. Cubing Why Not commented, do you think that Bill Wang could win Worlds 2019? I honestly have no idea. Also, do you think you'll ever solve with Rue? Why or why not? And what are your thoughts on the Rue method? I don't know much about the Rue method. I know the basics of it, but I've never actually used it. And I kind of doubt I'll use it because I like CFOP. Okay, so we have a bunch of questions here from TK Ryerson. One, what is your main Megaminx? The Yushin Little Magic Megaminx V1, but I might change it soon. Feet solving? I don't really do any feet solving. I've solved with feet a couple of times, and I do have a pretty good cube for it. OH main and PB, I use a magnetic uh, Mofeng Jiaoshi mini 3x3, 5 centimeters. I'm not sure what my PB is, I average around like 45 seconds. How many comps have you been to? I have been to three comps and competed at two of them, and I am going to another comp, Pennsylvania, over the uh, following weekend. Favorite subject in school? Probably Spanish. Favorite food? Probably cheeseburgers. 4x4, PB, and main. My 4x4 PB is around uh, 120 or 125, and my main is the Aosu GTSM. Favorite event, 3x3. And 10, should I have asked more questions? Probably not. Hunter Bruyere commented, who's your favorite cubing YouTuber and favorite YouTuber in general? As I said, it's either JR Cuber or Cuberithms. And I think either JR Cuber or Cuberithms would probably be my favorite YouTuber in general as well. Indian Cuber commented, to how many comps have you been? Uh, three, as I said. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Do you know any foreign languages? I've been taking Spanish for a few years. Mercury or Mars? I have no idea. Music or dance? Music. Summer or winter? I honestly don't really have a preference, but probably summer. Andy K commented, what is the hardest cube you've ever successfully solved? Probably the Tutminx, although even the Tutminx took me a long time. I don't think it was that difficult. I don't think I've ever had a cube that was just insanely difficult that was very hard to figure out a method for, because even though there aren't a lot of tutorials on the Tutminx, I was still able to use some tutorials to help. Keith Doherty commented, do you have an Instagram, and if not, will you make one? I do not currently have an Instagram. I only have YouTube. 
uh, my YouTube channel, obviously, and also my uh, website on Wix. But I might make an Instagram in the future, but honestly, I don't think I would use it for that much, and I would only use it for cubing-related posts, so I'm not really sure. What do you average any events? I average a little under 20 seconds on 3x3, and for square one, I average about 40 seconds or maybe a little less. And for 2x2, two two, I average just about 5 seconds. For other events, I don't really care that much. Unexpected win commented, If you had a cube you could only solve once, what would it be? I really don't know, but honestly, I would probably pick a cube that I didn't like at all. Because then for the cubes that I actually liked and I would want to solve more than once, then I could just buy them and solve them as many times as I like. The Puzzle Turner commented, Do you like just twisty puzzles or other puzzles as well? Um... I'm not sure if this was really what he was talking about, but I mean, I just like twisty puzzles, but I do like some puzzle video games, such as uh, video games like The Room, which are very interesting. Cubing Lab commented, do you solve the Tupminx like a Mega Minx? No, you do not, because the hexagons have to be turned two turns at a time, not just one, and this actually makes it uh, quite a bit trickier in terms of uh, just how you solve it. And how did you start cubing? Some of my friends we're getting into cubing, so I decided to kind of try out cubing and see how it was, and I think it uh, turned out pretty well. What is your favorite puzzle in your collection? Also, is there a way I can contact you privately? Um, my favorite puzzle is probably the Tutminx or the GTS2M, and you can contact me at cuberyt at gmail.com. Will you do any mods? I already have done some mods on my channel. How many times have someone said to you, I just peel the stickers off? Never. For you, what is the best budget cube? The best budget cube is probably the Yushin Little Magic, in my opinion. What's your main event? 3x3. Three three. Where do you get your cubes? Cubicle. How many comps have you been to? 3. What grade are you in? What was that, a 10x10? Ten ten? Yes. What's your favorite puzzle? Tupminx or 3x3? Three What's your favorite non-WCA puzzle? 2x2x3 two by two by or square zero? What's your favorite M by N puzzle? 3x3. Three three. What's your favorite food? Cheeseburger. Have you ever podiumed? No. Who is your biggest inspiration? Probably J.R. Cooper. What laptop computer do you use? I use a 14-inch HP Pavilion laptop. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if your question did not get answered, there were some repeat questions that were not answered. So that might have been why. You can also leave your questions down below in the comments for a future Q&A that I will likely do at some point, although I'm not sure exactly when. Anyhow, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you liked the video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!